Yeah, I thought I'd give a little update. This is a true test for the uh, Rab Sil Poncho supplied by MEC. It's uh, working quite well. I've got the hood on right now because it's coming down pretty well, pretty consistent. Just leaving Prince Rupert now after doing the Northwest Passage. It's a real ferry experience. Anyways, yeah, as you can see, it's working quite well. Uh, what you can't see is how bone dry I am underneath there. A little damp from sweat, but I just, I run hot. And uh, I'm a lot cooler than I would be if I was inside a full rain suit. Got the booties on and the leggings on though. Just a uh, greasy amount of skin showing. I'm doing very well. Every bike tour should have this in their pannier. It's uh, it could change it could change the game. A lot of people don't realize what they're getting themselves into when they start a tour, and you gotta be prepared for this. You know what I mean? Come on, rely on yourself. Get the gear. You can do it. Just so dry under here. Got the flap just covering the seat while I'm off of it. Just stopped to take a pee. And uh, yeah, that carabiner goes and ties the other corner. Just right here, I wrap it. I wrap each side under and uh, I just kind of lock it just right at that joint right there. And uh, yeah. No problem so far. Just super dry and uh, not hot. A little cool, but that encourages you to keep on going, you know what I mean? Till you find the night shelter or just a uh, canopy or something. This is a uh, beautiful highway. Alright, so it's uh, been about three and a half hours of riding now, and uh, prolonged use update. Uh, it comes stock with no sealed seams. So, right around the neck, I'm experiencing some wetness going through, and it's kind of close to my hypothalamus in the back of my head, so it's uh. Pretty nice waterfall. Yeah, so I'm a little cold now. Uh, if I get some shelter, I would put on my jacket. It's not waterproof, but it's got reflectix, so it would keep me warm underneath. But uh, yeah, I'm just uh, pedaling through, trying to make up the heat for it. I had a lot of food yesterday, so nothing I can't handle. I can still touch my thumb to my pinky, so no hypothermia just yet. Still, we'll have to get on top of it, though especially if this train keeps up as it is. So I recommend as soon as you get it, before your body grease gets onto it, get some good sealed nylon sealing tape. Get those seams sealed up any other way, really. You can get some paintbrush kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I think I'll clean off mine with some 100% rubbing alcohol and do that once I get to where I'm going. So I'm ready for the next time. Uh, a little bit of condensation underneath. You can uh, see how it's just dark where it's touching my things there, but condensation and prolonged use is going to be expected just like with any tent, right? My body is warming up the water in the air and uh, absorbing more of it than it's touching the cold silk nylon and condensing on the inside of it. So, yeah, definitely have to put on my jacket eventually, but hey, my legs. Still bone dry, they're nice and warm for moving around all the time, right? So uh, yeah, nice honest review for the Sil Poncho. Seal the seams, watch out for crosswinds, other than that I stand by it. It's a great purchase, well worth the investment. Uh, 
idle for the first 70 kilometers. Okay, so I got my jacket on and gloves underneath this now. Uh, I'll be a lot warmer now. Yeah, so time for another update. <laughs> I have been getting those crosswinds. And my legs have been getting decently dead. Feet are wet by now, but this has been seven hours. Non-stop. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty epic. But I'm warm. I got my jacket on under this. And I'm going. <laughs> 